I think in a lot of ways, March Madness is more fun than the NBA. I mean, the NBA has elite players who've been working on their craft for years, but NCAA is a lot more unexpected because it features tiny schools like Georgia State beating off much bigger powerhouse schools like Baylor. That's not by accident. The very structure of the tournament increases the chance of upsets occurring compared to the NBA playoffs. There's going to be an upset somewhere. The biggest thing by far is that each round is just a single game instead of a best of seven series. If you had two teams playing a thousand games, the favorite team would definitely win. But the smaller the sample size means there's a higher chance of the unlikely outcome occurring. NCAA games are also shorter, 40 minutes instead of 48, further reducing the sample size. When you're on offense, the shot clock tells you how long you have before you have to take a shot. In college, you can take up to 35 seconds, which means that underdogs can slow down the game and cut down on the number of possessions for their opponents. All these games are also played on neutral courts, so the favorite team usually doesn't have any home court advantage, and oftentimes if you have a neutral crowd, they'll start cheering for the underdog because they want to see the upset. Additionally, the three-point line is a lot closer than in the NBA, which means three-pointers are easier to shoot. The closer three allows for what's called a high-variance strategy. Shooting a lot of three-pointers can backfire, but if you hit the shots, it can allow you to beat a team you wouldn't otherwise. All these factors mean that every year, a few big underdogs upset top teams. Usually, this happens in the earlier rounds, but on occasion, it happens in the final four, or even the championship.